All right, folks. It's going on 2.30. This has been less than fun. I don't know how else to put it. Less than fun. Uh, there's probably many of you that, that kind of knew this was coming, and, and, and rightfully so. This is my first bout with this nice, fine, high moisture grass. I've made some high moisture grass before. I think it was three years ago. The first year I had this baler, but it was a very thick and nasty first crop. This stuff, by the way, you see this, this green right here? That was just all cleaned out of the baler. This is my fifth time cleaning the baler, two times at the farm. The farm's not too far away, but that really stinks. Two times at the farm, and uh, this is my third time here out in the field. Now, the good news is the north field is done. Uh, there is a couple of ratty bales looking like this. That's okay. That's actually going straight to the cows tonight. But uh, the problem, and now I'm going to talk like a know-it-all. The, the problem is, look at how loose that is. Now, the fact that it's higher in moisture, that's not a problem at all. Let's take alfalfa, for example. And I guess now this video is turning into a lesson to be learned for anybody else that's possibly tackling something like this this year for the lack of feed. That's why I'm doing it. Alfalfa is stringy, it intertwines with itself and a bunch of other words that I'm not going to spit out because I don't have all the answers. Maybe Rowdy Yates was right. Uh, telling the entire community that uh, I'm kind of nothing but a but a dumbass. Did I just say that out loud? Well, that's the kind of mood I'm in. I might as well let the cat out of the bag. I got nothing else to say on that. It's been a few months coming. That's all right. <clears throat> this has been a bear. It really is. And it's because of how fine it is. It gets all, all tangled up within the rollers. The belts are uh, slipping. And you can not only hear, but you can see when the belts are slipping, especially when you go to eject. That's when I stop and clean it out. Um, I just hope to God I don't throw a belt here or do any damage. I don't have a whole lot left. Another 25, 30 minutes and I actually could be done. I am very happy with the tonnage. Uh, <laughs> that being correctly said, tonnage. Uh, I once said, I said not long ago that peas and oats was probably the heaviest product I've ever baled, and it is, until these things. This uh, packed high moisture grass is unbelievably heavy. Uh, I kicked a baler down a notch. I'm making 56 inch bales. And I'm, uh, of course, you can't see it on this bale here, but I'm wrapping it three times, which seems a little excessive, but it's basically to hold the damn bale together. Um, with the exception of the problems with the baler, I'm fairly happy. I'm just continuing to cross my fingers. that uh, yeah <laughs> oh this has been a bear so all in all the problem is is with this nice fine grass unlike alfalfa it does not intertwine itself and wrap up almost like a whatever it's one of the tricks of the trades that I've I found out here uh, just as of 25 minutes ago, you can't let the baler take a break. You cannot let it breathe. Basically, you need to just jam the product into it, unfortunately, because that for, to me, that's beating on equipment. And for God's sakes, I hate beating on equipment. I mean, I paid for it for God's sakes. 
you, you can't give it time to rest. And uh, it's been a beast. I'm gonna take you for a little ride. That started up pretty good. It's nice and clean. Not fully clean. The rollers still have some grass around it. I can't alleviate that unless I go back to the farm again, get the ladder and climb up there, which I might end up having to do at uh, some point here. But uh, yeah, okay. Run at a solid 540 RPM, obviously. I am running in B3. Bear with me here, folks. I'm gonna take this video, but I also gotta watch what I'm doing. but I kicked it up to B4 because it was a lighter windrow and uh, this stuff does make a bale quick though and it's because it's high moisture if it was dry to the bone and crispy of course it'll pack a lot better um, you got to watch RPMs with this stuff too it kicked down to 520 We're going to make this bale and get out real quick and look at it. Watch them belts, which is common doing high moisture. See them stop? Good deal. The best thing for this baler after this, of course, I got to give it a thorough cleaning, is the corn stalks, corn fodder that we are going to bale. Uh, at some point, the way things are going around here, probably about another month. I don't know what else to tell you folks, this is a bear. I couldn't tell you if I'm going to be doing this again. I see a disaster happening.
all in all, we ought to end up, <coughs> we ought to end up with, uh, oh, I guarantee you, probably about 25 bales. Um, of course, those will be wrapped tonight. That won't take long at all. It'll take a lot longer to actually go and retrieve them than anything. But, uh, yeah, Rowdy, I'll admit it. I am kind of, I'm a little bit of a dumbass. I am making my own hay, though. You did yourself a lot of damage around here, my friend. My yard's not the only one that you're not allowed into anymore. Maybe we'll do a live stream some night coming up. I'll explain that. It's very disappointing, to be honest with you. But life goes on. It definitely goes on. Folks, we're going to talk to you sooner or later. Stay tuned for a wrapping video.